Hello and welcome back to the course of basic electrical engineering. In this video lecture, I am going to continue with the unit 1 that is DC circuit. The topic that I am going to discuss in this video lecture are star delta transformation and delta to star transformation. So let us start with the first one that is delta to star transformation. We have already discussed about the series and parallel connection of the resistance which is used to simplify the given network. But when there are more number of loops in the given network, then circuit can be easily simplified using delta star transformation and star to delta transformation. Now, here you can see three resistances are connected in such a way that they form a symbol Greek delta. That's why it is known as a, this shape is looking like a sim, uh, symbol of delta. That's why it is known as a delta connected resistance. Now, there are three terminals 1, 2 and 3. The resistance between terminal 1 and 2 is denoted by R12. That between 2 and 3 is denoted by R23. And between 3 and 1, it is denoted by R31. Now, this delta network can be converted into the equivalent star. So, is this network, for this network, equivalent resistances are R1, R2 and R3. And one end of each resistance is connected to a common point, which is known as a star node. Now, both this network, we can say, are identical if resistance between any pair of given delta is equal to resistance between corresponding pair in the equivalent star. Means what? Resistance between 1 and 2 in given delta should be equal to the resistance between 1 and 2 in the equivalent star. Similarly, resistance between 2 and 3 in a given delta should be equivalent to resistance between 2 and 3 in equivalent star and that apply to terminal 3 and between 3 and 1 also. Now, so let us, we have to find out the value of R1, R2 and R3. So, starting with the given delta, so what is the resistance between 1 and 2 in the given delta? So, to find the resistance between 1 and 2, connect one battery here. If we connect the battery between 1 and 2, 3 is unconnected, it is open. So, current will start to flow and current will divide it over here. So, suppose current flowing through R12 is I1 and current flowing through R31 and R23 is I2. So, this is R23 and R31 is in series, here you can say and this series combination is in parallel with R12. So, resistance between 1 and 2 in a given delta is denoted by R12 dash which is a parallel combination of both these branch. So, we can write R12 dash is equal to R12 parallel series combination of R23 and R31. So, R12 dash is equal to R12 parallel R23 plus R31. So, we can write R12 dash is equal to R12 in bracket R23 plus R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. Similarly, the resistance between 2 and 3 can be denoted by R R23 dash, so R23 is, is equal to R23 in bracket R12 plus R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. Similarly, we can find the equivalent resistance between 3 and 1 and that is nothing but the R31 dash. So, R31 dash is equal to R31 in parallel R12 plus R23 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. So, these are the equation number 1, 2 and 3. Now, as both the networks are identical, the resistance between 1 and 2 in the star is equal to the resistance between 1 and 2 in the delta. So, resistance between 1 and 2 uh, is, suppose we connect battery over here, 1 and 2. So, it will be R1 plus R2 because this terminal is unconnected. So, one there only one loop will be formed and only one current will fl flow over here. So, resistance between 1 and 2 is denoted by R1 plus R2. Now, these resistance and these resistance are identical. So, we can write R1 plus R2 is equal to the resistance between 1 and 2 in the given delta that is R12 in bracket R23 plus R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. Similarly, resistance between these two pair is equal, is equal to the resistance between these two pair. So, R2 plus R3 is equal to R23 in bracket R12 plus R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. Similarly, R3 plus R1 is equal to R31 in bracket R12 plus R23 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R2 R31. 
Now, these are the equation number 5, 6 and 7. Now, suppose we want to find out the value of R1, R2 and R3 from this equation. So, what we can do? Suppose we want to determine the value of R1. So, we have, we have, uh, we should add 5 and 7 and then uh, subtract the 6 from the addition of 5 and 7. So, subtract 6 from equation 5 and then adding the result into the equation 7. So, what we can write R1 plus R2 minus in bracket R2 plus R3 plus R3 plus R1 is equal to R12 in bracket R23 plus R31 minus R23 in bracket R12 plus R31 plus R31 in bracket R12 plus R23 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. So, R2 and R3 gets cancelled out. So, left hand side will be having 2R1. So, 2R1 is equal to the same uh, uh, equation that we have got in the upper equation. So, now solving this equation, we can write 2R1 is equal to R1 to R2 3 plus R1 to R3 1 minus R2 3 R1 2 minus R2 3 R3 1 plus R3 1 R1 2 plus R3 1 R2 3 divided by R1 2 plus R2 3 plus R3 1. If we solve this, we will be having R1 is equal to R1 2 R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. So, this is the value of resistance which is connected to terminal 1 and that is nothing but the R12 R31 divided by R12 plus R31 plus R3 R23. Now, similarly, if we subtract the equation 7 from 6 and we will add the result to the equation 5, we will be getting R2 and the R2 is equal to R23 r12 divided by r12 plus r23 plus r31 similarly subtracting subtracting the equation 5 from the equation 7 and adding the result to the equation 6 will be getting the value of r3 in the star network and the r3 is equal to r31 into r23 divided by r12 plus r23 plus r31 so this is our uh, given delta now which is converted into the star so suppose in the uh, example, there is a delta network, so you have to draw the star between in between that delta and then we'll, you have to find out the value of R1 to R2, 3 and R1, R2 and R3. So, this is a given delta with the equivalent star. Now, what is trick to remember the equation of equivalent star? So, resistance of any branch of equivalent star can be obtained by multiplying adjacent delta resistance and dividing the sum of delta resistances. So, here suppose taking the example of R1, R1 is obtained by multiplying the adjacent delta resistance that is R12 and R31 and dividing the result by summation of all delta resistance that is R12, R23 and R31. So, this is how you can remember the equation of resistance in the equivalent star. Now, moving towards one example based on delta star transformation. So, here you can see one delta network and the value of each resistance are R ohm. Now, so the value of resistance in equivalent star will be also equal because all the delta resistance are, are having same value. So, what is the value R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to product of adjacent resistance that is R into R divided by sum of resistance that is R plus R plus R that is nothing but the R by 3 ohm. So, if in the given example, in the given delta, all the resistance are having same value. So, directly you can find the value of resistance in, in the equivalent star and that value will be the value of the resistance in given delta divided by 3. Suppose all the resistance are having 50 ohm value, then resistance in equivalent star will be having value 50 by 3 ohm. Now, moving towards the star delta transformation. So, it is a replacement of given star into the equivalent delta. So, sometimes in the given example, you need to convert the star network into the delta. So, how we can convert? What, what is the value of equivalent resistance sees in the uh, uh, delta network that I am going to discuss? So, we have already derived the equation of R1, R2 and R3. These are the uh, resistances in the equivalent star. So, R1 is equal to R1 to R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. Uh, assigning that is uh, as a equation number 1, R2 is equal to R23, R, R12 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31 and R3 is equal to R31 
into R23 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31. So these are the three equations 1, 2 and 3. Now, suppose we multiply by equa equation 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and 3 by 1. So R1, R2 will be equal to R12 square into R23 into R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31 whole square. Similarly, R2 into R3 is equal to R12 R23 whole square R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31 square. Product of R3 and R1 is given by R3 into R1 is equal to R12 R23 R31 square divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31 whole square. So, these are the equation number 4, 5 and 6. Now, adding equation 4, 5 and 6, we get R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 is equal to R12 square R23 R31 plus R12 R23 square R31 plus R12 R23 R31 square divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31 whole square. Now taking the term R1 R2 R3 common from uh, the terms, all the terms in the numerator. So we are getting R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 is equal to R1 2 R2 3 R3 1 in bracket R1 2 plus R2 3 plus R3 1 divided by R1 2 plus R2 3 plus R3 1. So R1 2 plus R2 3 and R plus R3 1 gets cancelled out from numerator and denominator. So we are having R1 2 R2 3 R3 1 divided by R1 2 plus R2 3 plus R3 1. Now this equation R23 R31 divided by R12 plus R23 plus R31, we can write it as a R3. So this term becomes equal to R12 R3. So we are getting R12 is equal to R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 divided by R3. So resistance in an equivalent delta is nothing but the R divided by R3, where R is equal to R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3. R1. So, the resistance between 1 and 2 in equivalent delta is equal to the R divided by R3. Similarly, we can find the resistance R23 is equal to R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 divided by R1. So, equal to R divided by R1. And R31 is equal to R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 divided by R2. So, we can write R is equal to R2. So, this is the uh, given star with equivalent delta. So, suppose star network is given in the example, you have to draw the equ uh, equivalent delta network and then find out the value of the equivalent resistance in the delta using these three equations. So, what is trick to remember the value of this equation? So, resistance of any branch of equivalent delta is equal to sum of product of star resistance taken two at a time and that result is divided by opposite resistance. So, suppose we want to find out the value of R12. So, R12 is equal to sum of product of star resistance taken two at a time that is R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1 divided by opposite resistance. So, opposite resistance is R3. Similarly, suppose we want to find out the value of R23. So, R23 will be equal to R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1 divided by opposite resistance that is R1. So, this is the trick to remember the value of the equation. Star delta transformation and delta star transformation will be required when there are more number of loops in the given network, in the given example. So, this is all about the today lecture. In this today lecture, I have discussed about how to convert delta network into the star and star network into the delta network which are useful when there are more number of loops in the circuit. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video of DC circuit. Thank you for watching.